Two captives who were released by Hamas speak out after being released through Qatari mediation. Aviation industry giant Akbar al bakr resigns as CEO of Qatar Airways and takes up a new post. And Saudi Arabia steps into the future with eSports World Cup. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Two Israeli captives who were released by Hamas following Qatari and Egyptian mediation on Monday say they were treated well by the Palestinian movement. Speaking to reporters on Tuesday, Yochavid Lifshitz said Hamas took care of all the needs of the captives and treated them with medication. The 85-year-old was filmed shaking the hands of a Hamas fighter as she was being released on Monday evening alongside captive Nourit Cooper. Hamas's al Qassam Brigade spokesman on Monday said they were released to Egypt on humanitarian grounds even though Israel had refused to receive them days earlier. Here in Qatar, Akbar al bakr has resigned as CEO of Qatar Airways after 27 years in the position. The Qatari official is said to be replaced with the CEO of Hamad International Airport, Badr Mohammed al mir Shortly after the announcement, al bakr was appointed as an advisor to the Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs. And finally, Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has announced the kickoff of an annual eSports World Cup that will host the most popular games in the world and offer the largest prize pool in eSports history. Since the Crown Prince's appointment, the kingdom has acquired over $3 billion worth of stock in U.S. video game developers, including Activision Blizzard Inc., which produces the Call of Duty franchise. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website and download our app.